going on? <laughs> just look, pretty. This I'm glad. First things first. I'm glad I'm your second best friend in arm wrestling. Um, we we we've been through the full evolution. I think you started out pretty critical of me, and then I called you out, and then you on on a live stream, and then you we uh, became good buddies, and then uh, and then you call me out for not trashing Uncle John. And, and then we're second best friends again. Anyway, man, here is the uh, video that you requested. Um, <laughs> and Uncle John, I'm happy to take some... I'm glad to see that uh, Delusional Blue can take some, some heat away. Uh, so di feel free to continue to direct heat at me. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Where do you want me to start? Where should I start, Pradeep? Um, I think I just answered it for you on, on the fix, uh, but I'll, I'll explain it a little bit more in depth. So, the Jules, the Jules one, the context of that one was, I was the person who brought that video to light. Um, it was not on a platform that had been seen by anyone. Um, it was actually just sent to me privately. Uh, so I was the first person in the arm wrestling scene to see it. And it really, really horrified me at the time. Um, Jules was significantly stronger than his opponent, Matt Conley, in that circumstance. And he was... Uh, it was a practice pull. And um, and Matt Conley can verify it. He, he deliberately tried to hurt him. He del deliberately tried to hurt him. Uh, and it, it, Matt had to intervene... Um, to stop that and um, uh, with his other hand so for me that was like oh man the, the dude is the dude, dude the biggest factor is the dude is way stronger he baited someone into the position that was impossible to then escape from Matt couldn't draw his elbow off the back and and he proceeded from there and yes I labeled that disgusting behavior because like I said I was the person who brought that to the attention of the arm wrestling world because I was the only one that had seen it um, in any sort of public sense. This one, um, I was late to the party on it. I didn't even know it had happened. I don't follow the arm wrestling forums anymore. I'm not, I'm not watching in Facebook, and uh, and I don't know. It was about, it was like, I was about a day and a half, maybe two days behind it. Uh, so there was already at the time stuff raging about this. So there was, there was no need for me to add to it. Um, there's no need for me to add to it. Look, if my son grows up and murders someone someday, um, I'm going to strongly disapprove of his actions. I'm going to say to him, buddy, you got to wear the consequences of this one. You're going to have to go do your time. You're going to have to dig deep in your soul and and repent of this, uh, because what you did was wrong, okay, that's something that I would say to my son, um, it would be very different what I would say to someone who murdered uh, a friend of mine, or a family member, I clearly wouldn't have that same level head, so I get that you want me to have some exactly parallel emotional response, because Matt Conley was my buddy, uh, and he was on the receiving end, versus Uncle John being my buddy and being on the dishing out end. Um, but it's just not the way it works, man. I'm not going to do it. Uh, and you know I'm not going to do it. And I think you'd actually be the same, Pradeep. I don't think you'd go out there and crucify someone um, unnecessarily. You wouldn't hurt someone. You wouldn't flame it. Um, when the best thing is to help those people close to you. I've spoken privately to Uncle John. Uh, I've expressed to him um, what needs to be expressed. Uh, Uncle John and I are close. Um, just like you, Pradeep, I wouldn't flame you. You do something stupid, I wouldn't flame you. I'd talk to you privately and say, man, you fucked up. You did this. You did that. And uh, you're going to have to you're gonna have to deal with it. And here's how I think... Um, in my experience, here's what I've learned from when I've fucked up in the past and how I've dealt with things. And um, look, if you can, if I can pass on any of the lessons I've learned, here they are. 
But uh, man, you got my support and take a break for a while. Do what you got to do. You're a talented man. Look forward to seeing you when you're back. That's how I would treat you, pretty. So that's how I will treat my good friend, as you say, Uncle John. I'm not going to I'm not going to condone what he did. He knows that. He knows it was the wrong thing. I know it was the wrong thing. They said the the judge, the jury, and the executioner were already well and truly out by the time I'd even seen it. I only, I watched it literally 24 hours ago for the first time. Um, and look, Uncle John was already. Uh, already taking heat, he was already copying it, I already knew that he was not in a good place, um, and like I said, when a buddy's not in a good place, that's going to be my biggest priority, is looking after their, their mental health, if I have the ability to positively affect someone's mental health when they're struggling, I will, um, because people have done that for me in the past, so that's the standard that I'm going to hold, so I'm glad you put out this little calling out Ryan Bell. Bowen about double standards thing, um, that's fine, I'm going to call you back Pradeep, and we'll still be second best friends in arm wrestling, um, I'm going to call you back on the human side, on the understanding that there is more complex things at play, and when you're in the small circles that are appropriate to support someone, it's what you do, and that's where I am. Uh, I'm in that circle with John to support him, uh, and I will support him. So, anyway, Pradeep, um, thank you for helping grow my channel, the Ryan Blue Bone Raw channel, with the unedited <laughs> stuff. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of glad I got this channel. I can do these nonsense videos where I don't edit and I just give stupid opinions and stuff, and people can follow the days of our lives or the of the arm wrestling world, uh, the drama, but anyway, drama, 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 Uncle John, I hope you're well, pretty deep, you keep flaming people whenever you want, uh, double standards, delusions, fill it up, I'm bringing the full power of delusion to this channel, I'm bringing the full power of delusion to my next match, delusional, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start using that word so much that everyone who wants me to be upset by it is going to start getting upset themselves. Because that word, delusional, it's, it's turned into something that empowers me. It makes me feel good. It makes me actually feel strong. It makes me have fun. Anyway, delusional blue, signing off.